Okay, well this is the shop building here and we're going to do a quick walkthrough of the solar electric system, so come on back. And as you look up over in this direction, you see two different kinds of solar panels. There's some solar electric panels down here and up above on the roof line there. Those are all solar electric panels connected together and those feed energy into the shop building and then into the batteries and that energy eventually feeds all the electrical usage in the shop and the house and then here these are solar thermal collectors and you can see two big four by ten foot collectors and those uh, contain the water that heats the floor in the shop here so this little PV panel right here runs the pump that circulates the water through the thermal collectors, through the floor in the shop, and then back in a big loop. So whenever the sun is shining on this panel, then that heat from the thermal collectors is going into the floor in the shop. And then when the sun goes down, that stops, the water drains back on the inside. Hello, my name's Carl Bickford, and we're out in my backyard at my house in Aztec. We've just been looking at the solar electric and solar thermal systems that uh, help run my property out here. So the, you know, the solar energy comes in above through that conduit there, so all the panels have wires that run up there, and then that, you can follow that right along the top up to here, and then it goes through what we call a charge controller, and then that, this guy's job is to keep the batteries happy, essentially, so it doesn't let them overcharge, and so on, but that puts the energy into the batteries directly. And then when you, uh, once you want to use energy in the house, that energy is going to come out of the batteries and into what we call an inverter, and that's what this guy is right here. So sometimes when you've got to watch the weather, basically, when you're living like this. So if you see a bunch of days of clouds coming, like, like I did for this storm, then you basically start tapering back your usage, you know, like I'll wait to do laundry until after the sun comes out again. And so you, you just have to learn to live with the weather, basically, and pay attention to it. And sometimes you don't use as much electricity as others. Okay, so this is part of the heating system, the solar heating system in the shop. The big thermal collectors outside are connected with pipes and distilled water is pumped through the collectors and then it comes down, sits in this tank for a little bit, and then gets pumped out uh, right into tubing in the concrete floor, which is just under the table here. So whenever the sun is shining on a little solar electric panel out there, it runs that pump and circulates the water through the floor during the day. And when the sun goes down, the pump stops, all that water drains back into this tank so it's so the collectors are empty at night and then when the sun comes up again it starts all over. <laughs>